never slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up Holy cow, Alibaba, how's everyone today? We stay two nights in Cappadocia. This is one of the highlights in Turkey, I would say. One of the reasons Cappadocia has become so popular is because of the hot air ballooning. But it has to depend on the weather strictly. If you are travelling to Cappadocia, one of the must do is the hot air balloon ride. From the top, you can see the fairy tale scenery, cave dwellings and all the remarkable rock formations from the top. However, catching a hot air balloon in Turkey isn't cheap. The ride is about an hour and it costs about US dollars 200. Compared to our Egypt hot air balloon, this is a lot more expensive. The thing different about the hot air balloon ride in Turkey is that the hot air balloon finished and landed at the back of the truck, while the hot air balloon in Luxor landed on the ground. You certainly need some skills to land a hot air balloon in the back of the truck, or else the basket may flip over. Two days in Cappadocia is still not enough. I think you need a week to cover the whole place. There are many things you could do. Lots of hiking trails, exploring the cave and valley, hot air balloon, and the Gorem Open Air Museum. Open Air Museum is the top attraction in the region. This place is big. You will find many churches carved into the famous Cappadocia stone. With a stunning view combined with the snow, the site is pretty much a small village carved out of stones, complete with everything you will need to leave. So you'll find a little bit of everything, from stables to churches to kitchens. Inside, you still find fresco on the walls of some of the churches. I would say this is like a hobby village, which you can spend one to two hours here exploring. The guy who is dressed in the traditional Turkish attire is playing fun tricks with me when I ordered an ice cream from him. Later in the evening, we went to a cultural show. It takes about two hours to watch all kinds of cultural performances, including the belly dance and the Turkish folk dance.
Thoughts for you. The name Cappadocia derives from the Persian word which means the land of beautiful horses in ancient times. There are as many as 600 churches carved from the soft Cappadocian rock, and some of these churches date back to medieval times and display beautifully painted frescoes, which has retained an amazing color on the wall. Cappadocia is one of the best hot air ballooning destinations in the world. You can see the most unique landscape in the world. For once, you will think, is this really Earth? It looks very much like housing for the alien. One would wonder why the stones here look so much like mushrooms, and the given nickname of this formation is Fairy Chimney. The chimney are a result of geology process that began millions of years ago, when volcanic eruptions rain ashes across what would eventually become Turkey. The Pigeon Valley, the whole place is full of unusual stones caves which seems like it's come from another planet, really picturesque maze of exceptional rock formation. It is also said that farmers used to collect the pigeon droppings from the cave and use it as fertilizer. Now you will see evil eyes hanging on the trees. Evil eyes are said to protect from the bat and bring in good luck in Turkey. Good to bring home for souvenirs. There are some stairs for you to climb up to visit the churches. If the place is crowded, you may have to wait patiently for your turn to climb up. Winter is beautiful in Cappadocia but very cold, minus 5 to 5 degree, which is the best seasons to see Cappadocia. I still think it's winter. <music> 